What if this isn't the only reality? What if, right now, another version of you is watching this same video in a world almost identical to ours, except for one tiny difference? Maybe in that world, the stars formed sooner, maybe Earth never existed, or maybe another you made one small choice a single moment that changed everything. This is the multiverse theory, the idea that our universe might be just one among countless others. It sounds like science fiction, but some of the greatest minds in physics, Stephen Hawking, Michio Kaku, Brian Cox and Neil deGrasse Tyson, have all said it might be real. If they're right then reality itself is far bigger and far stranger than we can imagine. The Quantum Beginning To understand where this idea begins, we have to go small, smaller than atoms, smaller than light, into the strange world of quantum mechanics, here the rules of reality break down. Particles don't act like solid objects, they act like possibilities, clouds of potential, existing everywhere and nowhere at once until we look. In the 1920s, physicists realized that observation itself changes reality. When we measure a quantum particle, it stops being a blur of probabilities and becomes one definite thing. But in 1957, a young physicist named Hugh Everett III asked a radical question. What if the universe doesn't choose one outcome when we observe it? What if all possible outcomes happen, each in its own separate universe? That's the many worlds interpretation. Every quantum event, every coin flip, every photon bounce, every heartbeat, could split reality into new branches. In one world you clicked on this video, in another, you never found it and in another, there is no YouTube at all. At first, Everett's idea was dismissed as too weird, unprovable, philosophical nonsense, but over time, physicists realized something unsettling. Quantum mechanics never said he was wrong, and no experiment has ever proven him wrong either. If Everett was right, then every moment is a branching point, a cosmic tree with infinite leaves, each one a different version of reality. And somewhere, in one of those branches, another version of you is living a completely different life, thinking they're the only one. The Cosmic Factory The quantum world might hint at many universes, but the cosmos itself could be their factory. After the Big Bang, space didn't just expand, it exploded outward faster than light. That event is called cosmic inflation, but inflation might not have stopped everywhere. In some regions, it could still be happening, stretching and bubbling forever. Imagine boiling water, each bubble that forms is its own separate universe, sealed off from the rest. That's eternal inflation, a cosmic engine that never stops creating new worlds. Each bubble universe has its own laws of physics, some collapse instantly, others fade in seconds, and a few like ours, form stars, galaxies, and maybe life. The mind-bending part, is that those other universes could be right next to us, separated not by distance, but by dimensions we can't perceive. Meanwhile, string theory takes it even further. It says everything in existence, matter, light, space, and time, is made of tiny vibrating strings of energy. Each vibration creates a different particle. And to make the math work, reality needs extra dimensions, maybe 10, maybe 11. According to physicist Michio Kaku, our universe could be a three-dimensional brain floating in a higher dimensional space. When two brains collide, the energy released could ignite a new Big Bang, the birth of another universe. That means our universe might not be special at all. It could be just one ripple in an infinite higher dimensional ocean. And if that ocean never stops moving, neither do the waves of creation. The Great Debate Over time, the multiverse became one of the most fascinating and divisive ideas in all of science. Stephen Hawking believed it could be the natural result of his no-boundary model, a universe with no clear beginning or edge. He once said, the universe would be rather dull if it were the only one. Michio Kaku calls it a cosmic symphony, where each universe plays its own melody, Brian Cox says the math of inflation almost demands multiple universes, even if we'll never see them. And Neil deGrasse Tyson reminds us that extraordinary claims require extraordinary evidence, but not everyone agrees. Physicist Sabine Hassenfelder warns that if the multiverse can't be tested, it might not be science at all. It might be philosophy, wrapped in equations. 
That's the heart of the debate. Is the multiverse a physical truth or just a beautiful idea? Even so, imagination has always come before discovery. The impossible often becomes truth, eventually. So, scientists keep searching, knowing that today's wildest theories often become tomorrow's foundations. Searching for proof. If other universes exist, how could we ever know? One idea hides in the oldest light we can see, the cosmic microwave background, the faint afterglow of the Big Bang. If our universe ever brushed against another, that collision could leave a scar, a faint ring, or an unusual cold patch in the sky. Astronomers have searched for these patterns for years. Satellites like Planck and WMAP have mapped this light in exquisite detail. And though no smoking gun has appeared, some faint anomalies still whisper the question, what if? Another approach listens for gravitational waves, ripples in space-time itself. If ancient universes collided, their shock waves could still echo faintly across the cosmos. Future detectors like LISA, orbiting the sun, might one day hear that hidden hum, a cosmic background chorus from universes long gone. Some clues might come from the numbers themselves, the constants of nature, light speed, gravity, and the charge of the electrons seem just right for stars and life. If those numbers were drawn from a larger multiversal lottery, it could explain why we happen to live in a lucky universe. It's not proof, but it's a hint. And then there's the lab. Quantum computers are starting to model branching probabilities, testing the boundaries of quantum superposition itself. Each new experiment helps us understand how probability, measurement, and reality intertwine. We still can't peek into another universe, but we can test the rules that might allow one to exist. Each result, each quiet, precise measurement, brings us a little closer to knowing if we're truly alone in existence. Levels of Infinity Physicist Max Tegmark tried to organize the chaos, he described four levels of the multiverse. Level 1, regions of our own universe beyond what we can ever see, places so distant that light hasn't had time to reach us. Out there, the stars may look the same, but every configuration of matter repeats eventually, meaning there could be another you, unimaginably far away. Level 2. Separate bubble universes born from eternal inflation. Each has different laws of physics, different constants, maybe even different dimensions of space and time. Level 3. The many worlds of quantum mechanics, every possible event creating new branches of reality. Here, every coin flip and every photon's path spawns another timeline. Level 4. The mathematical multiverse where every possible equation, every consistent mathematical structure defines its own reality. In that sense, numbers themselves give birth to universes. Beyond that, ideas only get stranger. A mere universe where time runs backward, a dark parallel world connected only by gravity, and black holes that might be gateways, each collapse birthing a new universe inside. Then there's simulation theory. The possibility that our universe isn't physical at all, but digital. That reality itself could be code running in a higher level system, one of many programs in an infinite cosmic computer. If that's true, the multiverse isn't physical, it's computational. Each of these theories is different, but they all suggest the same thing. Reality might be far larger and far stranger than we can ever grasp. What it means for us. If the multiverse is real, it changes everything. It means our universe isn't special, just one version among infinite possibilities. There could be a universe where humans never evolved, another where gravity is weaker and stars never formed, and maybe one where time loops endlessly, repeating forever. It sounds humbling, even unsettling, but it's also inspiring, because out of infinite possibilities, this is the one where life found a way to ask questions, where consciousness looked up at the night sky and wondered what's beyond. As Michio Kaku said, we are the music makers of the multiverse, aware that we can ask why. Maybe the multiverse will never be proven, maybe it's something we can only imagine, but imagination is where discovery begins because every great leap in science, from relativity to quantum theory, started as an impossible question, 
And maybe, somewhere out there, another version of you is watching the same video, thinking the same thought, feeling the same wonder. What do you think? Is the multiverse real, or just a beautiful dream of infinity? Share your thoughts in the comments, I read every one. Thanks for watching Psy Beyond, I'll see you in this universe or another, in the next video.